Hey on folks, it's Ron, Ron Grovis from Ron's Beer Reviews and Tools. And I've got a product, not a beer today, or an ale, or a brew of any sort, but I've got some um, mixed drinks, actually. And I don't know which one I'm going to do this review on. I picked these up, uh, me and my loving wife, uh, heading uh, out shopping and so forth, stopped at a nice package store in Burlington, a very big one. And uh, they have tons of beers and wines and whiskeys and everything. They have a, an aisle of mixed uh, drinks so forth. And these uh, caught my eye. And they look pretty good. They weren't expensive. Uh, these are buttery nipple. Uh, twisted shots. 20% alcohol by volume. And you get four shots in there. And you can see they're divided. It's um, a caramel vodka in there. And on the other side it's got a, um, a butterscotch. Uh, liquid in it and there's four of them four shots in here they come in four shot glasses as you can see and that's that's one of them and the other one is uh, called buzz balls <laughs> it's a mixed drink this one is called tequila Rita uh, it's got uh, tequila in it and vodka and triple sack and juices real juices and this one's 15 percent by alcohol by volume uh, so I'm going to do one of these, and I think it will be um, this one here. I think I will do the buzz balls. I looked up in this a little bit, and uh, this tequila Rita, that's the name of it, uh, is a buzz ball. Have a ball. And uh, you got to shake it up, as it says, because it's a mixed drink. It uh, also says on here that it's um, a woman-owned. Please drink responsibly, woman-owned. And it is. It's um, owned by, actually by a woman. She started the business. And uh, a whole family, well, most of her family, her two sons and husband are now in the business. And it's funny because she came up with this this ball, and there's other ones that are different flavors. There are quite a number of them that I saw at the uh, package store. Another one was uh, chocolate teas. There was peach balls, forbidden apple, ginger mule. <laughs> Quite the names. Korean Blaster, Lotta Colada, Stiff Lemonade, Strawberry Rum Job, Tea, Teelicious, yeah, one was Teelicious, Watermelon Swat, Watermelon Swash, I should say, and The Grapeness. And they do brew other mixed drinks and so forth, and they do have a, a channel, they have a, a channel on YouTube. So you can see this, these products on YouTube, uh, besides uh, me mentioning them here. Uh, let me give you the name uh, on the, the, the company is Champion, I think. I mean, this is the product, uh, but the uh, company is Champ and named Champion. Uh, this was, this, they have 100% juice that are in these. There's no high fructose corn syrup in these at all. Um, the starter of this company is a, a miss or Mrs. Mrs. Merrily Kick, K I C K. Now she's the owner and CEO, but her husband is there, Mr. Tim Kick, and her two ch uh, sons, Alex and Andrew Kick, and that's their president and vice president, and a number of a uh, number of people that uh, work for them. And I did find out, I did some due diligence, and I looked up uh, the sales rep. In this region, the eastern region, uh, Mr. Ron Ellis, and he would be sent be the guy if you wanted to, if you lived in uh, Rhode Island, or Massachusetts, or Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, in Ohio that would uh, want to get this stuff. And I guess uh, he's the gentleman. All right, no further ado. Uh, I don't know what color this is. I've never seen these before, uh, like a baseball. Uh, I never seen these before, so I don't know what color it is. So, without no further ado, let's get a glass. We have a glass. This is just like the beer reviews, so I'll be reviewing uh, the Spuzzball. I know, I like to do the beer reviews. I'm not varying away from the beer reviews. I just saw these, and I thought they were pretty nice. And uh, I didn't want to try them, so if I'm going to try them, I will do a beer review. All right, let's uh, see what we got. All right, let's wipe this top off. Okay. Buzzball. All right. 
This is a woman-owned company. See what it looks like. I don't know what the color would be. Okay, it's not as green as I thought. More of a, yeah, like a grapefruit color. Like it would be a grapefruity color. Um, it gives you the idea that it's going to be green. I thought it would be more greener than it is. I thought it would be green probably until I start looking at the container. But that's okay. It doesn't take away. Uh, it's tequila. Like I say, and they call this Tequila Rita. It's got tequila, vodka, triple sec, and then natural flavors, which would be the, uh, the juices that are in this. It comes out to 15% ABV. All right, no further ado, let me uh, get a nose to it. I have very um, tequila smell and, at the same time, the triple sec. Because uh, I do like triple sec, and uh, it is in there. Definitely. I can't pick up on any fruits that are in this. My assumption is some of the yellow fruits, like the uh, grapefruit and lemon, or even lime. Yeah, I would assume I would assume it's uh, lemon and lime that uh, is in this. Alright, no further ado. Let me uh, get a taste. Just a little ball up here. Mmm. Mmm. Paca power. Quite citrusy. Uh, quite flavorful. Uh, getting, um, definitely, there's uh, lemon in this. Lime is definitely... And this triple sec in the tequila. Uh, making a true Mexican inspired cocktail for sure. Uh, and vodka was in this for the um, the alcohol. Mm. That is good. That is good. I do like tequila. Uh, I usually have it with some salt. And uh, a lime. I mean, the lime's already in this here. And it is tasty. This is quite tasty. Uh, There's no grapefruit in this, so the, the, the color of it reminds me of grapefruit. What I'm getting is the lemon and the lime blended together, making the color that you're seeing. And plus the tequila. Mm. Ah, the tequila, tequila could be yellowish. This is really good. It's very good, actually. For the price, it was well worth it. Now, they have a bunch more. Like I say, they have uh, chocolate, and uh, which they call chocolate teas, peach ball. Forbidden apple. There was an apple, forbidden apple, ginger. Uh, just so many of them. A lot of colada. That might be nice. A crayon blaster. Uh, I mean, a lot of them. Uh, stiff lemonade <laughs> and uh, the grapeness and the watermelon. So, uh, all right, with that said, I will be doing uh, another review on this one here when I uh, decide to uh, have one of these shots that are blended to come separated. But I get them assuming as you drink it, it's going to go together in your mouth and make you. Uh, a buttery nipple. So, from Twisted Shots, I'll be trying this on uh, the next uh, review I do. Alright, so, that said, excuse me, uh, this is a drink. It comes from Texas, by the way. Down there, I think it was Carrollton, Texas, I read. Uh, family's from Texas. Kick family, K-I-C-K. It's woman-owned. Yeah, you want to help women in business. Uh, buy their products. They have other products other than these balls. Uh, this was, uh, may have started out like a gimmick to get people to buy it, but not so much buying it. It's uh, very good. Uh, this will, believe it or not, will end up on my Christmas tree. I am going to make a, um, <laughs> I'm going to make a Christmas ornament out of it. Shake it, as I did, and uh, I'll make a Christmas ornament. So, with that said, I won't, um, 
hold this up too long. I will drink responsibly and uh, stay down here in my man cave. So this is Ron Grovis from Ron's Beer Reviews and Tools saying, have a good day, folks. Hope you had a good New Year. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas time. Ciao.